right, your next comic coming to the stage. Let's get to her a therapist quickly, right? <laughs> your next comic coming to the stage. Super funny, represents the Valley. 818 in the house. Okay, just me? All right. <laughs> Just Three together for Friday Wolf! Yeah. Hi, it wouldn't be the first time I get the microphone from somebody and have to say my name is Frida Wolf. Which is like why my parents decided to name me Free Da Wolf, so I sound like an energy drink, you're gonna have to ask them. Uh, thanks for giving me a reason to put on my going outside pajamas. Uh, if my clothes don't feel like pajamas, I don't want them on my body. Haven't worn jeans since 2020. Yeah. Haven't had COVID either. Coincidence? Don't know, don't know. Uh, my marriage survived the pandemic. Perfect, no, 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 don't clap, don't clap. It's not natural, it's not natural. We both work from home. You are not supposed to spend every hour of every day with the same person. That is not love, that is Stockholm Syndrome. No, no, no. Uh, I did gain some weight since 2020. I think gaining weight during a stressful time should be celebrated like Fat Bear Week. <laughs> Fat Bear Week, if you're not familiar. It's an annual contest held online. Um, a national park in Alaska hosts it. You go to the website. You vote for the thickest, fattest chunk before they go into hibernation. And you are judging these bears on how hard they've worked to gather all the best resources to survive extremely harsh conditions. So if you survive 2020 and the last three years, you won that Fat Bear crown. I don't think they give the bears an actual tiara, but can you imagine if they did? I don't know if they give them, they just go to sleep. Um, I think other people are more uncomfortable with me not having breasts after breast cancer than I am. For a while, I was trying to reconstruct my breasts with implants, and I was very into all the weird science that was being done to me. I was like waking up in Frankenstein's lab with these bolted on boobs sewn on my chest. I was a Beverly Hills fake titty Frankenstein. And one day I'm at work and I show a coworker my Barbie doll tits that didn't even have nipples. And I got written up for sexual harassment. You can be missing genitalia and still be a sex offender. I am enough to be a predator. Um, my reward for reaching middle age is uh, being violated while I'm passed out. I'm a doctor. I'm about to have my first endoscopy, that is a camera down the throat, and colonoscopy, that is a camera up my ass, happening on the same day, one right after the other. I think they're going to use two different cameras. I don't know. I don't want to ask any questions. Don't tell me anything. See, before I turned 40, I would call that uh, both ends Japanese tentacle porn. <laughs> uh, so the pandemic might have inspired some abnormal panic shopping out of me. Uh, look, I am straight up scared of losing my sense of smell to COVID, okay? So I started collecting fragrances. It might be hoarding. We're going to call it collecting. And that is when I realized that assigning gender to smells is so dumb. Why do women have to smell like flowers and candy? And men get to smell like activities that help you suppress your feelings, like chopping wood or working on your car or smoking tobacco like your emotionally unavailable parent. <laughs> I like to look at online review forums for perfumes, and this guy wrote for my favorite unisex perfume. Now, I have decided he's from Georgia, based on what he wrote. He said, this is a loud, brash, vanilla butch. <laughs> and I took that personally, because fucking look at me. <laughs> and then he went on to say, but there are other, better, more genteel, more refined perfumes out there. And he rated it a 5 out of 10, which I also took personally. The, uh, the absolute worst of my pandemic shopping. At the beginning of 2020, I thought, wow, I might die. So I bought $800 worth of sex toys <laughs> and five bottles of lube. There were supply chain issues. I was worried about running out of lube. <laughs> I am still on the first bottle of lube. Okay, like, I don't know how y'all shop at Target. I don't buy one deodorant. Okay, I buy like five. It's just sex toys and lube aren't really a, uh, a bulk situation. You know? It's like uh, you go to a buffet, you grab a plate, and you load it up with crab legs and five cups of butter. And you get back to your table and you look at your mountain of crab legs and your five cups of butter and you think, oh boy, uh, 
there is no way I'm getting all that inside me. And then you think, nah, fuck it, I paid for all this. Where there's a will, there's a way. Thanks, I'm free to